fucking now, fucking with the best now, fucking with the fucking now, fucking with the B mix, baby. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial, but today I've actually got a tutorial for you using the new Nicki Minaj lipstick and that's what I'm wearing now but I'm also going to show you a different way to use it that's a little bit more creative I'm also going to be using a palette from the Shop Mac collection so if you got your hands on that I'm actually going to be using the purple one in the tutorial and that's what the colors look like so I'll get close so you can see the look so these are the eyes we didn't apply any false lashes because I'm actually just on my way to take my friend to the airport right now and I don't want to look like a psycho with like tons of lashes and bright lips on and these kind of boldish eyes. So just thought I'd tone it down a little bit. So as usual, I'm going to start off with the eyebrows and I'm just going to fill them in with a shadow. And this shadow is called Espresso. And I'm literally just starting off from underneath and whatever's left on my brush, I'm kind of combing upward. Next thing we're gonna do is apply an eyeshadow base and I'm using Painterly Paint Pot and as you can see, I use this thing pretty often. I'm actually just gonna apply most of it with my finger. Take a flat brush like that and I'm gonna take a little bit more of the base and I'm actually gonna use it to kind of clean up underneath the brow. And you could use concealer for this as well. Now we're gonna start off with the eyeshadows and for for my brow highlight, I'm going to use Vanilla Pigment. And I just poured some a little on the cap. I'm gonna tap off any of the excess. I kinda like to start off by placing the highlight in the center, like the highest point of my brow, and then just blending the rest out. So we are gonna use the Purple Shop and Drop palette from um, the Shop Mac collection. Okay, so we're actually gonna start off with that pink color. And I'm using a 224 fluffy brush. You could use any fluffy brush that you have though. We're actually gonna use this kind of just as a blending color. It doesn't really have much, much pigmentation to it on my skin. Um, if you were a lot fairer, then maybe it would show up as a crease color. This is more just like a, like a blending color because we're still gonna add another crease color. With that same 224 brush, I'm actually gonna go into the purple right underneath. And we're also gonna place this in our crease, but we're gonna place this a little bit tighter right to where um, like the fold of our eye is. Right in there. That way it kind of has a blending effect from like darkest to light. Okay, sorry guys, I kind of got started on the next step without pressing record. So we're actually gonna take our smaller version of the 224, this is the 226. Um, you could just use like a 217 or anything that's like a little bit smaller but still fluffy and we're actually going into that blue. So we're gonna take a little bit of that blue and we're really gonna carve out the crease with this. Just like that. And then we're going to go back in with the 224 and we're going to blend it all out. So I'm just working on making sure it's kind of even and consistent. Back with that 224 and blend out the edges. If you need to grab a little bit more of that purple, you definitely can to help that blending. Now for the eyelid, we are going to wet our small flat brush and this is a 242. You can use whatever flat brush you already have. Any brush that will pack on some of this um, vanilla. So I just kind of sprayed the brush and then picked up what was left on the cap from that vanilla pigment. Okay, sorry, my camera died. So we have the vanilla pigment on our flat brush and we're placing it onto our eyelid. So I have some of that on there. Hopefully it didn't dry. Okay, so we're actually gonna use this flat brush to kind of sculpt out the eyelid area. Okay, now I'm gonna take Smolder eyeliner and I'm gonna place this inside my waterline as well as up on my tight line. Let's move on to skin. So we're gonna do something a little different. I'm actually going to use the new mineral concealers from MAC and I've got NW25 as well as NC30. So NC30 I'm gonna use kind of around the face and um, NW25 I'm gonna use just underneath my eyes. So I'm literally, since this is my personal one, I'm just gonna do kind of like a few little dots here and there. And I'm just gonna blend it out with a foundation brush. This is a little bit of a, um, a little smaller one. It's not like the regular 190, this is the 193. So it's smaller and it has the angle, but you could use whatever you have. You could even use your fingers if you'd like. Okay. 
The reason I like the angled one is I could actually kind of clean up my brow here at the top and it just fits perfectly right through there. Rather than the 190, it's a little bit bigger. So I can't do that. with. Okay, now that I've got that one pretty much all over, I'm gonna go in with the NW25 and we're gonna put this one underneath the eyes. And because I want a lot more coverage here, I'm just gonna kind of tap so that it could blend while not taking away coverage. After I've got that all blended in, I'm gonna take my Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Plus and we're gonna put this all over just to kind of help set that concealer. Okay, so we're actually going to use the Nicki Minaj as a blush. So all we really have to do is just kind of do a few little dots and we can blend it away with our fingers. Or if you want to use a brush, you could use a 130 brush from MAC and that one's like a duo fiber. I find that my fingers work just fine. good I don't want it to be too too heavy but you can definitely make it a little bit more um, you can make the color pop a lot more it's a gorgeous color because it's kind of like a peachy pink and it looks very natural because it's kind of like a cream blush so I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush again and I'm going to take um, the give me Sun mineral bronzer from Mac and we're just gonna kind of put this underneath the lipstick just to kind of define our cheekbones a little bit more and we can actually add a cheek highlight let's use that same vanilla that we used on the eyes so if we take a little bit of that on our fluffy brush, we can actually put this on the highest point of our cheeks and it goes perfectly with this blush. Now for the actual lips, we're gonna use In Anticipation Lip Liner. It's a long wearing lip liner and that's the color. Now time for the lipstick. You really want to wear a gloss, even if it's just a clear gloss, because the satin texture can make your lips look a little bit drier. I'm just going to add some mascara and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. I actually ended up adding a little bit of wing liner on the top, just because I'm not adding lashes and I feel like it'll make the lash line look just a little bit fuller. Now I'm going to apply some gloss on top of the lips and I'm going to use Nice Buzz Plush Gloss and that's what it looks like. It's So this completes our look. I'll be sure to add some pictures. I hope you enjoyed this look. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye!